Pokemon Go every day. I suffer from voice cracks. Hey everybody, what's up? Max here, and welcome back to another episode of the Fall of Light walkthrough. I almost said the Pokemon Diamond walkthrough. I once did that. But anyway, welcome back. Last episode, what we did was we got through the Cave of Whispers really quickly, actually. I never get through it that fast because of that hammer guy that knocks me off the cliff every single time I play. So today, what we're going to do is we are going to enter the city of Yersinia. Here we are on the outskirts, but we do need to get inside the city. Uh, this is a bonfire. This is awesome. You can sit around the bonfire with ether. And if you do this, then the shadows won't come and chase her. I mean, c uh, capture her. Pardon. So if you leave her there, nothing bad will happen. Got him. He said sit. Sit down, Ether. And every time you sit around it, it, uh, thing, it gets relit, so. Can we hit each other? We can hit each other. Got him. Oh, Ether. <sighs> All right. Let's get up and move in. Get up, Superstar. A shieldsman. You don't want to go too far out on that bridge because the enemy right behind him, I think you can barely see him. He's kind of fuzzy, but he's a, a crossbow. He holds a crossbow. And those guys have extreme range. You know what? Forget it. I'm just going to die. I don't like leaving Ether to the mercy of a bonfire. I'm just like, just die and leave it. Just let it go. So there she is.
I don't like playing this game. I mean, I love Fall of Light, but I don't like playing this game of, like, uh, running around not being able to hit each other. There we go. Maybe I'm not giving myself, uh, maybe I'm not close enough. That could be it. I need to, like, get right up in his face. So downside of the dagger is you need to get right up in his face. Yeah, that that guy died from bleeding damage. Which is the knife's ability. No traps on this bridge. There's just a sword and a shieldsman. You have to be very careful with this dude because he can block knives and daggers easily. Alright, this is probably the worst thing that could happen. I want you to come over. Oh, oh, he died from ble bleeding. <sighs> well, what we can do, I have to heal. I'm not getting anywhere with this. Might as well try this dagger. There's no harm in trying different weapons. There are plenty around. I haven't found, like, the highest tier of knife, I think. Yes, weapons do have tiers. And they're noted by a plus next to the name. It'll be, like, a sword plus. The most I've seen is a, is a three plus weapon. super fast with this dagger. It's just too short. We can try the axe, but I've seen it. Heck, let's try the axe. It doesn't hurt. So the axe also has the bleeding effect. It attacks pretty quickly, just maybe a little slower than the dagger. Yeah, it attacks a little slower than the dagger.
when you have a big weapon, a big heavy weapon, you can break through shields easily. But I don't have one. You just have to wait for him to attack. There we go. I'm just going to take out the crossbow guy with a uh, dagger. He missed. The main problem I have with crossbow guys is that their arrows take up half your energy if you block them. Alright, got him. I'm going to leave Ether on the bridge for now. That's a cheap move where they like spin around. Uh, but uh, ba doo ba doo. You might hear a little chatter in the background. Don't pay any attention. We are locked in epic combat. Got him. Now, what needs to happen here is, you see that above the gate there's like an orange eye that is a uh, basically a security thing. It shoots lasers at you if you if it sees you. I mean it takes a little while for for it to actually do it, but what you have to do is you have to destroy two s stones which power it. And I'm going to get the first of those. It's right over here. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to get a uh, power-up for the uh, Amulet of Shadows. Yes, like I said, you can upgrade it. And they're very often uh, found on pedestals like those that you just saw. Can't stop this. Yep. 
that thing always scares me. <sighs> Well, I died. Yippity-doo! You need to have your weapon out in order to break those, which is the mistake that I made. I did not bring out my weapon. I kept my lantern in my hand. So basically all I'm just going to do is I'm just going to run right on through these enemies because it's possible. La-dee-da, la-dee-da, can't touch this. And deactivate. There's a fragment up there. One man versus the world. And so once you deactivate both of those things, the eye won't start shooting at you ever again. gets laggy with those uh all right I don't know what we can do is we can just climb this ladder get the fragment of a luce and there's also an ether Ether can be captured and held in a cage in this area. The cage, if you remember where all these enemies are, then the cage is just right up these stairs. Past these people, past the crossbow person, right next to this troll cage, and there's the cage. Whatever you do, don't open that cage with the troll in it. Don't open that cage until you have a lot of health. Now, something about those trolls is they hold like five fragments of Luce. So when you kill them, they drop five fragments. But they are so hard to kill. And in an area like that, where you have Ether's cage right next to it, it's not very good because if you're just trying to get ether out of her cage and you just uh, you just want to get her out but you've got this troll that can kill you in one shot right behind you All right. let's see if we can do this again we're gonna run back revive ether Yep, I was dead. So we can just, like, kill all the enemies. We can take this a little slower, too, now that we've gotten those uh, stones deactivated. Oh yeah, 
fighting like a boss. I'm just using the starter sword, so I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna be like, running through people. Oh my gosh, I attracted the crossbow person's attention. I I attracted the crossbow person. And of course, the crossbow person can just shoot his buddies. thought I had him. can shoot through walls too, huh? Why can't I just kill him? Thank you. Good golly. That dude is a savage. Alright, just waiting for that guy to come. Hurrah. Nor a door. Bring it. I win. Bring it. I don't win in one shot, but hey, that's fine. Got him. Ha! Got him! I like that meme. Though it is kind of a bad reference. Uh, let's clear out the path to the cage first. I'm out of energy. I'm out of energy. I'm out of energy drink. kind of bad. That was kind of bad. I'm not saying it is bad. I'm just saying it's kind of bad. Oh, great. We got this guy's attention. Oh, I thought I had him. Got to do a double swing on that. If you time it right, you can do like three swings. Dang it. Coward. I 
to regain my energy. And my health. I need to regain health. Oh. I'm probably going to die here. That's okay. That cross crossbow people are cowards. We're just putting that out there. Guy with the giant spear, come help me because I'm not annoying enough. I want to get that player so mad that he runs for his giant spear. Let's try to sprint right through. Whoa, that was close. That was very close, in fact. You can pull this lever and then the gates will open. But that gives the enemies time to come and catch you. So what I'm just gonna do is walk over here. Walk over here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fight because these stairs are very hard to see in the dark. I do want to get rid of that crossbow guy. Oh. I got both of you to come over? Great. The more the merrier. Got him. Now that we've cleared a path to the cage, we can just get Ether try to walk through the gate. All right, Ether, let's go. Let's see. It would be like right here, where the shadow creatures come out. No. Very well. Let's just walk right in through the gate. And your next shrine of power is over to the right. Just go to the just go to the right side. Ooh. Let's see, there's the sky. Dying. No, 
don't want to die. Oh my gosh. Will these guys... We get more powerful weapons we'll just be like looking at these guys like where did you come from you never caused me any trouble I don't want to attract those guys just want to stick with these two I prefer to fight as few people at once as possible it's better for my sanity I think we could call these guys witch hunters because they kind of do look like your uh, classic cartoony witch hunter like the old American witch hunter hello let's actually try to do a dagger on this guy oh yeah Got him! And right over here is your Shrine of Power. So, just activate this. So, hopefully you guys find this helpful. I'm going to end the video here. Hope you find these guys, these videos helpful. If you do, you could leave a like if you wanted. I don't know. I don't need it. Just as long as you guys find this helpful. This game is very fun. Good job, Mateo and Christian. For you guys are the only ones on those gravestones. Though I don't think you are dead. Not yet. Anyways, guys, hope you find this series helpful. Uh, hope you're enjoying. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.